Hey everyone, this is your coach Marwan from Marwan Kilo Fitness and fitandlean.com. On today's video, I'm going to talk to you about three odd reasons why you cannot lose fat even though you are in a calorie deficit. So I get this question coming down up a lot with uh, a lot of my clients saying to me that I am in a calorie deficit, this is my meal plan and this is what I'm doing, this is how much I'm eating and I cannot lose fat. Why is that? So I've given you, I've, I've got three top reasons for you guys on why people you cannot lose fat even though you are in calorie deficit. Number one is BLT. Now not bacon, lettuce and tomato. BLT stands for bites, licks and taste. Okay. So many people, so many of you actually add on an extra 100 to 200 calories a day just from these bite, um, bites, licks and taste. Okay. Um, the stuff that you wouldn't even think about. So, uh, there's one friend of mine that's that's a chef, and um, believe it or not, he works out and he cannot lose any fat. And the number one reason, number one reason why he cannot lose fat, is because he has to taste all the food. So, little, even though he tastes a little bit bits and pieces, bit and bits and pieces from each food, you don't think there are a lot. They add up at the end of the day. Okay, um, how many of you? How many of you eat? Um, uh, uh, kind of go out at night and have a few um, to, you know, go to a party or to a club or even a restaurant and have um, um, a lot of um, have some popcorn okay a handful of popcorn a handful of crisps a handful of nuts add these up at the end of the week at the end of the day and they equate to over 200 calories and nuts especially are very very high in calories okay popcorn is full of oil full of butter okay a lot of fat and, and, and carbs as well, so they're all going to add up. Um, again, uh, you might be finishing your kid, children's um, meal, okay, because they can't finish it. I used to, that used to be the case with me, and now even though it's a lot less now, the children are more grown up, if I have to finish their meal, then I usually finish a protein more than anything. If you are going to overeat on anything, then it's best to overeat on protein, because that's the most thermogenic ingredient, okay? So number two is not counting liquid calories. Now, how many people here actually do juicing and you've heard that juicing is meant to be healthy because it's, the sugar is natural and it comes from fruit? Well, guess what? Anytime you take out the fruit and you juice them, then you are taking, out, you're taking away all the fiber, all the goodness away from the actual, um, from the fruit. And uh, even, and vegetables as well, although that's not really, it's not, it's, not, it's not to that extent, but with fruit, when you take out the fiber, then it turns into just sugar on its own. And the whole thing with fiber is that it slows down the digestion uh, of, the, um, of the actual fruit, okay? When you take out the fiber, it becomes pure sugar, and that's when you get high fructose corn syrup. So they contain a lot of calories, okay? And that and kind of, and now, and not, Sorry, not contain a lot of calories and contain calories, and these calories will go straight into your liver and um, liver fat stores rather than your muscle cells to be slowed down. So it's going to bypass the small intestines and go straight into your liver, and that's why high fructose corn syrup is very, very dangerous. It's dangerous in terms of like putting on body fat, uh, putting on body fat, because what happens is. It bypasses that small intestines, goes straight into your liver, and it spikes your insulin levels. Okay, and that's when you start to feel really kind of hungry, and you start wanting to eat more food. Okay, um, another thing that is forgotten is alcohol. Now, and there's nothing wrong with a bit of alcohol here and there, but if you, um, if your goal is to lose fat, then it's best to keep alcohol to a minimum, or even cut alcohol out altogether. Okay. The whole point, that the whole reason why alcohol is not beneficial when you're trying to lose fat, it's not that it's extra calories, it's what's in those calories, okay? So a calorie is not always about a calorie. It's what inside the calorie is what, and what it does to the body, okay? So a calorie of uh, you know, chicken breast is not the same as a calorie from pizza, okay? Um, you, can, you, can, you, can't, you can eat 2,000, 3,000 calories of pizza, but you struggle to eat uh, you know, three, four hundred calories of chicken breast, uh, pure chicken breast on its own, without all the condiments and everything else. 
And what happens when you have alcohol is the body is more concerned about breaking down the alcohol rather than uh, breaking down the fat that's already in your body. Uh, so what happens is those, um, whilst you're having all this alcohol, the body will actually store all the fat that you have in your body and start to use alcohol for energy. All right, so the more food that comes when you're eating more food and what happens, all that food is getting stored and that body is using those, um, whilst the body is using alcohol to, uh, to break, for, break down alcohol for energy. All right, so um, point number three, final point, you are sedentary, okay? Um, there are 104 hours in the week if you take out the eight hours of sleep and four hours a week that you are in the gym. Now, these are 104 hours in the week of doing, of trying, of not burning any fat at all, okay? Unless you do some kind of like high intensity workout and stuff. The uh, calories that you burn in the gym are going to be very, very minimal, okay? Unless you're doing some kind of, like a crossfit style um, exercises and then in that case then you are going to burn a lot of calories um afterwards as well not to say that you're not going to burn any calories uh, after the um after the gym when you when you when you, you know with your workouts but 104 hours okay if you are sedentary for those 104 hours then that go that those 104 hours uh, um it's where you're not going to be burning any kind of calories and that's where a lot of people actually start to lose it and they do everything right um, with regards to their meal plan and macros and uh, workouts but then they lose it on that point they're too sedentary right any AT which is uh, non-exercise activity thermogenesis or NEPA uh, non-exercise physical activity which is basically the same thing stuff like fidgeting and uh, kind of moving around okay that all counts as um, all counts as kind of calories so the people who typically are like calm and sit in front of the TV the whole time and do nothing probably burn a, or definitely will burn a lot less calories than the people who do the same who sit in front of the TV but fidget a lot more and kind of move around rather than people who are just sitting down okay now um, research shows that the um, the difference between the two is the difference between sedentary and active people is something like 64% of the calories burned uh, in a day um, are through NEAT and that's people who are active and the sedentary people can burn anything from anything up and as little as 15% of their calories for the day okay so often is the kind of this is the probably the most critical thing that is missing from your uh, from your um, kind of workouts is that is that you are too sedentary if you are too sedentary and you know kind of typically not going to be your um, fat loss is going to come to a slow it's going to be slower than the people who move around a lot more so things that you can do such as taking the stairs um, getting up and walking around in the office straight after um, every kind of 10 15 minutes uh, walking uh, walking, have, going for a walk, walking your dog, playing in the park with your kids, and that kind of thing. Uh, parking a lot further away from the gym than right than than, than um, next door. Okay, so any kind of um, any of these, oh, sort of all of these things add up at the end of the day and the, at the end of the week towards your kind of um, uh, towards your uh, non exercise physical activity, um, uh, sort of non exercise physical activity and non-exercise activity thermogenesis okay um so yeah that'll help you burn a lot more a, a lot more fat than if if you were active than if you were just sedentary all right guys so there we go here are the three odd um reasons on why you cannot lose points if, even though you are in a calorie deficit um so as i said all, all it can be a combination of all these factors or just simply one of these factors okay um, so if you found this video helpful make sure that you leave me a comment hit the like button and share it with your friends and family and we'll speak again soon bye for now